have someone in your family who suffers from obesity. Well, I do. I do have two cousins. All their lives, they have been eating junk food. But after a certain point, the obesity started showing on their bodies. They tried to eat less food, but unfortunately, they can't because of their age. They had nicknames by their own siblings. Every time they play outside games with us, they always lose. The bad part about it is that, is that parents pay attention to them only after years of feeding them the whole time of food. All the children on earth got the right to live a healthy life, supported by their parents. They all should be taught as a child that the junk food is not good for their health, and they should know what they should know that if they became obese, they could not, they would not have an easy life. There are three things I want to talk about. The first thing, obesity affected uh, affected a child's life. What could obesity cause? And genetic obesity. Obesity could affect a child in school and in life outside of school. Sometimes when a child of this child plays with his friends, he can't do what they can do because they are more healthy than him. Unhealthy kids sometimes they can't keep up with them or run as fast as them. Here's a true story about a seven year old boy. He went to a clinic and sat and sat and struggled as he sat down to take his bag off just because he is open. This seven-year-old boy couldn't go and play with his friends. Lots of other kids who are like this boy they are all around the world. They look at their friends who, are, who can do many, many things without feeling tired. Believe it or not, a three-year-old in the UK died due to obesity. A research in the United States proved that the average of 12 years old got a thick, slimy layer of fat on their blood pumping veins. When all, the, when all these 12 year olds grow up, how, how would their lives would be? This class for these at 13 and 14 years old. Imagine how kids at about the same age would struggle through their lives. We can change the future right now by, ch by changing our food, our food and habits. On the other hand, most of the kids suffer from diabetes. And that is what the people should worry about right now. Now half of the kids with diabetes are the second type, as noted in how news. If you are a healthy child, think about what you can eat to prevent yourself from diabetes. Every time you put some sugary stuff into your stomach, think about those kids. Those kids that have to measure the sugar in their blood three or more times a day. Those kids, those kids that watch their friends eat all that, all that sugar without being able to taste all that food. Think about them and how much they suffer. How many of you drink fizzy drinks more than once a week? Do you know how much sugar in the fizzy drinks? And did you know that the diet coke is one of the main reasons for, this, for type 2 diabetes? I expect you from now on to make your own healthy choices and not wait for someone to tell you that. Some people would say that obesity can be genetic and it's not the parents' fault. This is not true because if you know that obesity is in your genes, then you have to make sure that you know what you're eating. In the past 30 years, the proportion of the people who are overweight has increased, but the genetic obesity haven't changed, according to Honolulu Star Bolton News. Other people would say that school that the school serves unhealthy food and all that kind of junk food that a child can't resist. A child can be taught. A child's brain is a machine that memorizes the first thing that has been said to him. A teenager can make his own healthy choices as to what to eat and what not to eat. All the people on earth would like to live a healthy life full of happiness, not
thinking about the sugar and the blood. I'm not worrying about the person they love not waking me up in the morning because of a coma and a heart attack. Imagine how they would feel without thinking about all these things. Besides that the earth is huge, if everyone on it stayed healthy, imagine all the things you can do, not worrying much what could happen. I know that my cousin's parents are now thinking about all these things. We are young, but maybe one day we'd be parents too. We don't want, I don't want my kids to have nicknames like my cousins or stop themselves from eating food just to stay to lose weight. We can lower obesity and diabetes. We deserve to live a healthy life and everyone should support that. We can change the future right now.